Uh, right now, there's a series of documentaries that are being shown on a, on a website. They're getting quite a bit of traction, and one of them is on the Von Erich family. You obviously were uh, very close and somewhat of a mentor to David Von Erich. Uh, so maybe you could talk about maybe some of the work in Florida, when David, uh, you kind of took David under your wing. I had a lot with David Von Erich. He was extremely talented, had the charisma to get the job done. He was big enough and tough enough to walk over who he had to walk over to get there. Uh, David Von Erich had his father's attitude, <laughs> which is, I'm the biggest, toughest son of a man in the world. And he didn't say something to him, he said, son of a man, you know. But there was Fritz's attitude, and there was uh, David Von Erich's attitude. And he, David was my partner. Anything I would ask of him, he would do. He was, uh, he grew up in professional wrestling, and he grew up in really the right part of professional wrestling, so that he understood uh, promotion, box office appeal, and he had it. David, David just had charisma. And his father had it, but David had it in a more likable way. <laughs> 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 it was terrific to work with though. What about how uh, he was able to be so dislikable in Florida? Well, he was from Texas and bragging about it. <laughs> <laughs> His daddy was the best in the world and he told everybody. <laughs> he was just ready, I mean, he could rave on about it. But it, it, it was based on how he felt. It was truly coming out of David's heart when he was saying that. And he understood that uh, to draw money, yeah, he understood we had, we had to be the bad guys. <laughs> Facing the Bristol Brothers, what they had. <laughs> but uh, David was a, a, a true friend and very, very sad to lose him. Was that Florida run a test to see how he could be as an NWA champion? That, you know, early when I was champion, they might have been looking for a new champion. But as time went on, and the appeal at the box office as NWA world champion, is how you judge. And business was good everywhere. Uh, and I don't say this to try to be regulatory, but as NWA champion I, at the time, I drew more money for the National Wrestling Alliance in professional wrestling than anybody else. And if that being the case, nobody was looking for uh, or pushing for a new champion. Business was good. And we all had a good time with it. The promoters, myself, everybody. It was a fabulous time for the wrestling business. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.